good morning to you trust you well today welcome back for some more encouragement um today i'm going to read your scripture from isaiah chapter 40 and you know this very well but the reason i'm reading you the scripture let me let just lay a bit of a foundation first i did an online session the, a while back about coming out of the comfort zone and i said prophetic people are not designed they cannot live in the place we call the comfort zone um, the comfort zone is where everything is familiar you've settled in there you've been there for a long time in other words you become comfortable in the comfort zone it's a place we all find ourselves in at some point in our walk with God where we can handle everything there's opposition yes we can handle whatever comes our way because we've done it before and then we feel this tugging in in our hearts that we've got to get out of this place we've outgrown this place we've got to move on with god because god is no longer here in the comfort zone he's calling us to a wider place of faith to trust him for more because the best is still to come that's why i'm giving you this today the best is still to come the things you've seen up until now have just been a foretaste of what's to come i'm talking about the things god has done you have in in the comfort zone in your time of waiting even in the comfort zone because it, it hasn't always been a comfort zone. It's been a place of growing and stretching and learning and waiting and receiving. But now it's a comfort zone because now you know what to do in that place. And it's, you've outgrown that place. So as you step out of that place, God is calling you into a new place. And only in the new place will you learn what you have, will you apply what you've learned in the previous season. And you'll find that you have an anointing on your life. You are able to receive a revelation from God and speak it and see things change. Your prayer life has changed. But if you continue to stay in the comfort zone, you will find that you'll get by. It'll be okay. But you'll always have the sense of frustration that God is calling you to something more. So like in Isaiah 54, when God said, when the Bible says, Sing, O barren, you who have not born. Um, it's a cry that I know there's more. I know that I have so many promises from God and they're not happening until I sing and, and refuse to believe that I'm barren. And until I sing and I begin to move and step and act as though I have given birth, then I'll remain in the comfort zone and God will still love me and he'll still speak to me and I'll still be blessed. But he has so much more for you. But you have to recognize that you've become comfortable in the comfort zone. This is what a comfort zone is. Before I give you the, the scripture. A settled method of working that requires little effort and yields only barely acceptable results. Prophetic people cannot live in that place where there's little effort. And now it's not hard work that you have to do to get out of the comfort zone. It's less work. It's coming to him. Um, it's letting him lead you. And then that's where we see the fruit in our lives. The authority, the anointing uh, increase comes as we learn from him. We take his yoke. We don't work harder, but we let the Holy Spirit lead us. So when, we, when we're in this place that we recognize God wants, he's shaking us out of the comfort zone. He's, he's shoving us out of the nest because he knows we can handle increase. That's why. we just All we have to do is we say, Lord, I recognize you're shifting me. I recognize this. I'm in transition. I recognize this increase that you have for me. And I refuse to settle in the comfort zone where there's barely minimal results. We All we need to say is, yes, Lord, I'm listening. Speak, I'm listening. So Isaiah 51 verse 29 says this. Uh, Isaiah 40, I don't know why I said, did I say 51? Isaiah 40, 29, he gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. In your comfort zone, you know, if you sit around in your house without doing exercise for long enough, you'll begin to feel the effects of no exercise. You become sluggish, you don't sleep well at night, you become physically weaker. But here God says he gives power to the weak. And when we have no might, then he increases strength. So what we do in this place is we say, God, I need your power. I recognize that I'm weak without you. I recognize that I've been working hard at staying in the comfort zone because it's familiar. And you're calling me to something more. 
And I recognize that. And so, Lord, I need your power. I need your strength to get out of here. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. It's waiting on God. It's not staying in the comfort zone, being passive. It's Lord saying, Lord, I'm listening. I'm waiting on you. And then he strengthens us to do what? They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now, prophetic people were designed for this lifestyle, this atmosphere of faith. This is the prophetic atmosphere where we've waited on God. We recognize it's his strength, his power. And now we mount up with wings like eagles. We're not going to fly around like a whole lot of birds, but it just gives us a, a symbolic idea, a picture of what happens when we allow God to renew our strength because we've waited on him. The comfort zone, when everything is familiar, when you know how to pray, is a danger of becoming passive. So we think, oh, well, this works. I'll just carry on doing it. And then that tugging of the Spirit of God, there's more for you. You've learned something in the season. Now step out. Step out on the water. Stretch a little bit. Let God stretch you a bit in your faith. And this is why sometimes we have to unlearn some old ways that we have become familiar in the comfort zone. Not learn new things, but unlearn old ways. The only thing we have to learn is to wait on God. So unlearn some old ways. He wants us to raise our vision. In the comfort zone, your vision is just your ceiling. And he wants your ceiling to become the platform for the next season and for other people to walk on. Um, he's inviting you to become who he said you are. When you feel that dis discomfort in your comfort zone, when you know he's calling you out to something more, he's inviting you to be who he says you are. And when you step out of the comfort zone, because you've been stretched so much that you can't handle the frustration anymore, and you step out there and you use your faith for something else, you'll realize, wow, I did learn something in that past season. And he's pushing you onwards because he knows you can handle more responsibility. He knows that every promise he gave you at the right time, in the due season, those things are going to come to pass. And the due season is because he knows you can handle it. So be encouraged today. I want to leave you with this last thought. You can't live in the fuel of the last season. And, but as you move forward, the Holy Spirit is right there to give you fresh oil. There's a quickening of the Spirit that comes. As you obey by faith and you say, God, I can't stay in this comfortable place anymore. Everything is familiar and it's great, but I know you've got more for me. And it doesn't mean you're going to run around and travel the world and raise the dead. But it means you're going to start by having a greater level of expectation. You're going to begin to see more. You're going to begin to mount up with wings like eagles and see what God sees. And then you're going to recognize, I'm going to take whatever I learned in the season of waiting, in the season of frustration. And as I begin to cooperate with the Spirit of God, He's going to move through me. And I'm going to see the breakthrough that I've been waiting for. So be encouraged with that today. You are moving ahead when you trust God to lead you. Be encouraged today.